Hello, I'm Dr. Girish Nilvigi, urologist and andrologist from Nilvigi Multispeciality and Urology Hospital, Bangalore. Today, I'll be talking on the diagnosis of PUG obstruction. In my previous video, I dealt with what is PUG obstruction and how it is manifest in a patient. The diagnosis of PUG obstruction is done based on history and a series of tests by a urologist. In the history part, the patient complains of pain in the upper abdomen, which is typically dull aching in nature and sometimes worsened after drinking a lot of water. The pain may come and go. It may not come for months together or sometimes it could be there for a few days and then go away. So the pattern of pain is very variable. When a urologist examines the patient, sometimes there could be pain on pressing the abdomen, but more often than not, there won't be any sign. However, a series of tests will diagnose PUG obstruction. The most important test is an ultrasound of the abdomen or a scanning of the abdomen. This will show that the kidney is swollen up. The outer covering of the kidney or the cortex of the kidney sometimes becomes thin and this is also shown on ultrasound. The ureter is not seen on ultrasound and rest of the organs are normal. So a PUG obstruction can be on one side or on both the sides. So an ultrasound is a important way to diagnose PUG obstruction. Once a diagnosis of PUG obstruction is made on ultrasound, we have to confirm it by doing a test called DTPA renogram or a EC scan. DTPA renogram or, or EC scan, they are two different tests, but both belong, belong to nuclear medicine department, wherein a radiopharmaceutical is injected in the vein and images are taken to see what is happening. So this, these tests will show that there is some swelling of the kidney. They will also show that there is an obstruction to the flow of urine. And they will quantify how much is the blockage or obstruction to the flow. They also tell us about the functioning of the kidney. Because a huge obstruction, especially if it is moderate to severe, may lead to loss of function or impairment of function of the kidney. So these tests are very important to diagnose PUG obstruction and also to tell how bad the PUG obstruction is. A urine test is also done to see if there is urinary tract infection. If there is urinary tract infection, it has to be treated. So these are the important tests to diagnose PUG obstruction. Sometimes a CT urogram is also done, especially when an ultrasound is not categorical. A CT urogram is a functional as well as an anatomical investigation which will tell us about the swelling of the kidney and also the level of obstruction and also roughly it gives us some information about the extent of obstruction. So these are the major tests to diagnose PUG obstruction. Thank you for watching this video and I will be talking about the treatment of PUG obstruction in my next video. Thank you.